are three parts to a baseball swing. Number one, the load. Get most of your weight on your back foot, but don't let this knee go over your back foot. Generally speaking, the tip of your barrel should be over your front ear, and we begin our load when the pitcher lifts his leg. Number two, a stride or a timing mechanism. This is how we get our timing. You can step, you can leg kick, you can toe tap, you can just lift up your heel and go. Whatever timing mechanism you choose, you need to make sure your front heel gets down into the ground before we start our swing. Make sure we get separation between our lower body and our upper body. Getting this stretch and separation will create torque when we start to swing. We should generally stride once the pitcher breaks his hands apart. And finally, the swing. You should have already loaded. Your heels should be down into the ground. You should have a separation between your lower body and your upper body. We should remain palm up, palm down. We should keep our upper body connected with our lower body opposed to getting disconnected. And we should finish out at a point of extension, not roll across the ball. 